Coming up on the Sports Desk, South catcher Matt Mavrosakis can hit a baseball pretty far. But that's not Matt's only talent. Reporter Reina Ale has the story on the bro bro from Spot Nation. Plus, West Towards the League is making a difference thousands of miles away. I'll get you their inspirational story. All of this and so much more sauce is coming at you right now. Welcome, everybody, to another week here on the Sports Desk. I'm your host, Colin Kushner. In the Twitter universe, hit me up. That's at Colin Kushner using the hashtag AboomSauce. Well, for the first time in 52 years, the city of Cleveland can actually celebrate. Bron Bron and the boys are coming home with some extra baggage, something that I like to call an NBA championship. Great for Cleveland, not so great for Riley Curry, her dad, and the rest of Dubs Nation. I'd say this is probably the most momentous occasion in Cleveland sports history since Willie Mays Hayes, Roger Dorn, Jake Taylor, Pedro Serrano, and Rick the Wild Thing Vaughn when they put on a Cleveland Indian sweater back in 89. Let's revisit the not-so-great state of Ohio's most memorable fake sports moment ever before Bronny and Kyrie scored more points than Golden State. Hey! Hayes around third. Here comes the throw. He slides. He is safe. Yeah, so maybe that wasn't the most memorable moment in Cleveland sports history because Major League is a movie and Jake Taylor and Willie Mays Hayes are fictional characters. Seriously, though, congrats, Bron Bron, in the city of Cleveland, well deserved. Now, we always focus on what guys and girls can do on the field, the hardwood, the ice, essentially any playing surface for all the major sports. But what about what they accomplish outside of their respective sport? In some ways, what happens outside is even more meaningful. By now, all of us here in the city of Torrance know that South catcher Matt Mavrosakis can jack a baseball really, really far. I watched the dude during BP earlier this season, and I thought I was watching Giancarlo Stanton for a hot second. Seriously, he's a phenomenal baseball talent, but that's not even Matt's main focus. Reporter Reina Ale has more. South High's big hitter Matt Mavrosakis had a dominant senior year with a batting average of 380. South placed fourth in the Pioneer League, but with 11 seniors leaving, Matt's pretty confident that his younger teammates can hold it down. We kind of had a young team and we kind of help the younger guys establish uh, what we're about here at South and that was a big deal for us and I hope that uh, they took some notes and they learned some things and they can keep those traditions alive and carry it on for the years to come. Matt's stats this season was top in the league but the real number that blew us away was his 3.8 cumulative GPA. I think it just has to do with our coach. He really motivates us actually just to be strive for uh, things on and off the field and I think at South we strive to be the best on and off the field. The GPA of our ball club is is uh, is really high most every year, um, so as a co as their coach, I just try to enforce that uh, being a priority. But really, it comes from the home, and uh, the families do such a great job of placing that as a priority, and the kids follow that, you know, to their credit too. Matt will officially put his baseball career to the side as he starts his college life at Arizona State University in the fall. I plan to start working to get uh, my degree in construction engineering and seeing where life will take me from there. As a little kid with my grandfather, we kind of kind of went to the apart his apartment buildings a lot and we'd always do reconstruction there. So as a young age, I kind of just caught, caught a liking to building things. Who knows, maybe ASU's team can have a new member by the time season starts. Thanks, Raina. Matt, welcome to the ASU family. Go Devils. So, South had a season to forget on the baseball diamond in 2016. Torrance definitely did, too, after they had to forfeit their first-round playoff dub. North, eh, 
Bishop Montgomery, Maso Menos, and West just couldn't get it done in round numero uno of the CIF Southern Section playoffs. Between the five Torrance area high school baseball programs, none came out with the CIF Southern Section crown in the year of the monkey, but one player did get some all CIF Southern Section love. This year's all CIF Southern Section D4 baseball team is brought to you by our fake sponsor, Boom Sauce. Salsa picante, the hottest sauce, not in Mexico. In Division 4, Cody with a C. Whistler is the only player on this year's All CIF Southern Section baseball squad, courtesy of the LA84 Foundation, not Boom Sauce Salsa Picante. Dudes repping the entire city of Torrance, the entire West Side. Nice work, Cody. To that other diamond, Alyssa Loza is your CIF Southern Section Player of the Year, courtesy of the LA84 Foundation once again. There's a shocker. We also have fellow North Sexon Desiree Moreno and two Torrance Tadas, Cece Da Costa and Marissa Moreno. Congrats, girls. Meanwhile, change is coming, and I'm not talking about President Barack Obama's old campaign slogan. The CIF Southern Section recently released new playoff divisions for the following fall sports, football, girls tennis, girls volleyball, and boys water polo. On the gridiron, some subtle changes, different nonetheless. West Torrance moves up to Division 6 from D5. The North Saxons remain in Division 7. It's not French, by the way, it's Savon. Southland softly in Division 9, Torrance in 10, followed up by Bishop Montgomery in Division 11. To girls volleyball, West, North, and Bishop Montgomery are hanging in Division Trace, South all alone in D2, and Torrance is like fours up, peeps. The new playoff divisions are set to change this fall. Each year, the Daily Breeze puts together their all-area squads for each sport. And guess what? This week, it's time to cool off in the pool. Your Daily Breeze Swimmer of the Year from North High, Ryo Kagawa. Uh, he was hashtag killing it in the year of the monkey. Dude tied for fifth place in the CIF state finals. He also broke the league record in the 100 breaststroke with a first place time of 57.21 seconds. Wowza. Let's take a trip down south and no, I'm not talking about Cabo San Lucas. I wish though, coach of the year goes to Sharon Thompson from South High. The number one, only one Torrance area swimmer is on the all area first squad. What's his name? Well, it's right in front of you. William No from out west. Hash brown me with some hashtag squad goals part. Yeah. Before we get out of the pool, I'll hook you up with your Daily Breeze all area second team. Kenny Garcia, Jason Gottschalk, and James Lee all from Tata Nation. And rounding out hashtag squad goals part do. M squared Marcus McIntosh from west. And say it ain't so. Billy So from South High. From the pool to the golf course, there's absolutely no correlation whatsoever. Scott Von Cannell is the only Torrance area athlete to make the cut on this year's Daily Breeze All Area First Team. Van Von Cannell, what a last name, helped lead the Knights to a Camino Real League crown in 2016. It's SVK, not SVP, folks. Squad goals part dose, four Torrance area athletes, Jack Killer from South, West Warrior Isaac Choi and two North Saxons, the Bryans with the Y, Brian Uahori and Brian Mondragon. Alrighty, folks, still to come. Here from Mish Montgomery footballers, Bernard Amofa and Bryce Matthews. Dudes have been getting it done on the gridiron and in the classroom. Get your popcorn ready. Parents sure have their hands full, and they could use an extra hand. Now, every state offers free or low-cost health insurance for your sports hero or budding artist. Kids up to age 19 can get checkups, doctor and dentist visits, hospital care, prescriptions, and more. Your child may qualify based on your family size and income. It's one less thing to worry about. Call or go online for more information. So they say it's a man's world? See anybody's name on it. While they were out doing their thing, we slowly changed all that. We changed all that.
Today, women can do anything men can do. And there's one thing we're even better at. Why is my son having trouble in school? Finding lowest airfare to Istanbul. No, I'm tired of fighting with my son over his homework. Home, walk, restaurant, need a review? No, he's smart, but his mind wanders. Seven wonders of the world. Why don't you understand me? I do. I was trying to show how Connor feels every day. Redirecting to understood.org. Join parents and experts at understood.org, a free online resource about learning and attention issues to help your child thrive. In your new role, we help you help. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving for information on how to provide even better care for the person who once took care of you. I'm Michael Ibarra. You're watching the Sports Desk with Colin Kushner. Boom sauce! hey -o! Thank you, Michael Ibarra and the rest of the Tata Baseball Squad. Welcome back. Twitter me this, Twitter me that. If you hit me up on Twitter, I'll get you right here on the show. Bryce Matthews and Bernardo Mofa, now seniors, tore it up on the gridiron at Bish Montgomery in 2015. Dudes have already received offers from some big boy college football programs. The University of Nevada has offered Bryce, and shortly thereafter, the University of San Diego is like, we want some Mofa on our team. B squared or just Bryce and Bernard say, it's all about doing work in the classroom. My GPA right now is a 4.67. I think the main thing is just time management, you know, just, you know, have some time to study and stuff like that. Always put academics first no matter what, you know, because it's going to take you far in life. And I just manage it by just working hard and managing my time. Academics always come first because, you know, if you don't get the academics right, you can't play. And that's always been like a motto because even if I have a 2.5, uh, it's not going to slide with my parents. And I have to make sure I'm on that field every day. When I was in high school, let's just say I wasn't the most academically inclined student. I could have used some GPA points from Bryce and Bernard. Can't wait to see the two of them crush it on the gridiron this fall. Switching gears, well, partially, let me tell you a story, and I'll be up front with you. This tale does not involve fairy dust or anything Disney-related. The UTEP basketball program recently introduced swingman Chris Barnes, but before Barnes and Nobles balled out at Compton High, the dude made a splash right here in Torrance. Once upon a time, the incoming freshman suited up for the Bishop Montgomery Knights basketball squad. He helped the black and gold grab the program's third state title back in 2014. Dude moves from the sunny confines of California to good old El Paso, otherwise known as the Borderland. From one sport that can be played on the hardwood to another that can also be played on the hardwood, otherwise known as basketball to volleyball. Just like golf and swim, the Daily Breeze recently announced their all-area boys volleyball squad, and once again, some Torrance area athletes getting some love. Well, only one on the first team. Drum roll it, please. We have South Chase Ceballos. My boy Chase helps Spartan Nation grab a Pioneer League title and, of course, a nice vacation to the CF Southern Section quarterfinals. South lost, but hey, a trip to the quarters is pretty nice. To the second team, Bishop Montgomery's Christian Arevalo, South Troy Ellis, and Cole Cooch. And, of course, it wouldn't be a parte without Tata Aaron Sendak. 
Before we head to break, a special saucy shout out to TGSL, the Torrance Girls Softball League. TGSL teams crushing play at this year's Laguna Niguel Sea Country Classic Softball Tournament. Out of the six Torrance teams that participated, four squads bring some hardware back to the South Bay. 8U Gold, 8U Silver, 12U Gold, and 12U Silver. The girls are on fire! And so is the weather outside. Literally, keep working hard and keep hydrating. Woo I'm going to step out for a few. When we come back, West Torrance of the League is making a difference thousands of miles away. Trust me, you won't want to miss their amazing story. I'll see you in just a few. Hi, I'm Hannah Storm. I was born with a significant facial birthmark. I know what it's like to grow up in a world that looks at you very differently. Fortunately, I had access to care, but every day many children courageously face the world with physical imperfections and deformities. Some are born with these, others get them from disease or injury. Sadly, many assume they have no choice but to tolerate them, but it doesn't have to be that way. There are medical procedures that can help these children regardless of their ability to pay. Together with the Caring for Kids program from the Plastic Surgery Foundation and the Hannah Storm Foundation, there is hope. With your help, we can give these children a new outlook on life. I know, I was one of them. Help a child in need at thepsf.org slash kids. Something's not right. My first symptoms were... Constant tingling in my toes. My legs, sometimes I'll go numb. I had double vision. They said you have multiple sclerosis. Well, the beginning is the hardest time. Kind of had to get a grasp on reality. I had to adapt and change very rapidly. I had to learn how to drive with my hands. Yeah, that was interesting. I was a dancer. I don't see walking the way I walk any different than doing a dance. It just looks different. It's a different dance. You see me have an off day, it doesn't take away from who I am. A symptom may cause you not to be able to do that anymore. And at one point, I wasn't able to do any of those. But I would exercise every day. Since I've been cycling, it's definitely helped my walking. To make a lot of changes in my life and just adapt to it. I'm going to acknowledge its presence. I'm not going to discount it. But at the same time, I'm going to try my best to not let it stop me. It's a fantastic opportunity to be working together with a common goal of carrying MS. And sharing is the key. with Colin Kushner. Boom sauce! Thank you, Isaac and Dean. Boom sauce! Back at you. Welcome back, everybody. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram. That's the Sports Desk TV for cool pics, video, and some gnarly filters. Close your eyes for a hot second, and let's reflect back on those days when Mommy and Daddy made you go into the garage and get rid of your favorite baseball mitt that, you didn't, that didn't fit you anymore. I don't know about you, but I remember those days like I just went through my garage with my parents last night. Have you ever wondered what happened to that old baseball mitt? Have you ever wondered where it ended up? Who had it? Were they enjoying it as much as you did? As a kid, any time I gave something away, those questions always crossed my mind. And they still do today. In truth, most of the time, you have no clue where those treasure items from your youth end up. But what happens if I told you that there was a way to know? A way to see someone's face light up like a Christmas tree. 
a way to know that your raggedy mitt was being appreciated and loved like it was brand new. Here's the story of Aaron Levinson and West Torrance Little League, a partnership that continues to change lives thousands of miles away. Tell the whole city of Torrance who's playing tonight. One, two, three. Eight years ago, West Torrance Little League head coach Aaron Levinson's love of baseball took him on a journey. Good job, kid. A journey that has impacted a country and its people thousands of miles away. Through my baseball league here in LA, I knew a guy who was taking a team every year to Cuba and he needed a catcher. My first trip, we went into Havana, we went to Cienfuegos, and really just had an amazing time. And I wanted to go back every year, so I've literally marked my calendar for all the years to come. That last week of February, I'm gone, so don't call me. Turn two. Year after year, Levinson would travel back to Cuba, not just to play baseball, but really explore their country, their culture, their struggle. They didn't have their own gear. And after that first trip, I kind of just took note and said, wow, you know, they don't have anything, yet they love the game probably more than Americans do. And what I did on that first trip was I literally came home with my backpack and a passport, and I left everything there. And it just felt so good to give back to somebody who doesn't have, but really needs and wants. And better yet, when I went back the next year, I saw those same guys using my gear, which felt even better. And that special bond became even stronger when the players from West Torrance Little League started getting involved, donating their gear to kids just like them who love the game of baseball. I really like it because my dad sends me pictures when he gives it to a kid. He takes a picture with him and sends it to me on my phone. And it's really neat that I know that it's going somewhere that's going to be used for a really long time. It makes me feel really warm inside that kids like the stuff that I once used. And it's really cool to see their smiles and it, look, it just looks like they're really enjoying it. Two countries, one game. Now that's true international relations. Wow, what an amazing story. A big boom sauce thank you to Aaron, Isaac, and Dean for chatting with us on cam. The three of you are awesome. Great news for West Torrance Little League. Aaron will be taking a group of kids to Cuba to join him on one of his journeys. But in order for that to happen, they got to raise some dinero. Fundraising is underway. If you'd like more information about West Torrance Little League or if you'd like to donate, go to westtorrancelittleleague.com for more info. And I'll also have the donation link on our Facebook page. That's the Sports Desk TV. It's time for the Sports Desk Funny Moment of the Week. Check out Bishop Montgomery footballer Bryce Matthews. If you're into that whole time travel thing, talk to Bryce. I want to be an inventor. I want to, I want to make a new mode of transportation. Maybe uh, I'm going to build the first teleporter, everybody, letting you know. Uh, this is Bryce Matthews. I'm saying it right now. Thanks for that, Bryce. I'll let you know if I need to time travel anytime soon. Iguodala to inbound. Shepard trying to stay with Curry. Catches one dribble, steps back, puts up a three. Won't go. Rebound tip taken by Spades. Final seconds. It's over. It's over. Cleveland is a city of champions once again. The Cavaliers are NBA champions. Bye-bye, Golden State. Hello, Cleveland. 52 years 52 years, I was chatting with a guy the other day, and he told me that members of his family never thought they would see the day that a professional sports franchise would bring the city of Cleveland something other than heartbreak. In my humble opinion, this year's NBA championship comes down to two players, Bronny and Kyrie. Listen, I was at Game 5, and the two of them each poured in 40-plus points en route to victory. Am I a huge LeBron fan? No, but my God... The dude can flat out ball. Pardon me, wanted him to lose so he could potentially go down as the dude who made the most NBA Finals appearances and lost. Keep in mind, I was only partially kidding when I said that. Poor Steph, poor Draymond, and even more so, poor Riley Curry. But hey, Golden State dealt with the injury bug and inconsistency. Cleveland took advantage and capitalized. Anyone that says Cleveland isn't deserving or that they so-called cheated is nuts or insane. They balled out and Golden State just so happened to run into some bad luck. Trust me, Dubs fans, 
You guys are going to be sick for years to come. But right now, it's all Bron Bron in the city of Cleveland. 52 years out the window like my gum when I spit it out on the freeway. Congrats, LeBron. Congrats, Kyrie and J.R. Smith, who came through in the clutch. Enough from me. I'll leave you all with this. Detroit Pistons, 2016-2017. I'm being serious, as that, as that sounds. Well, that wraps up another saucy show. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And remember, if you just want to say what's up or chat about sports, you can do that as well. Take it easy, Torrance. We'll catch you next time.